hello friends so let's welcome to all of you so today we will start the basic introduction about the edi what is edi and how we can use uh, the edi what are the segments like we generally perform in this daily life routine for the edi transaction side so we will just review in this video so please be continue and be staying this with me for this video so edi uh, and ncx12 standard documents are covered by the various mm, that uh covered by the versions like there are multiple versions are there usually in the numeric form like 430 okay and 5010 as well 410 530 and 5010 as well okay before asking your software vendor like to to sell you an update to the latest ncda x12 version you should be checked with your trading partners to ensure that they are requiring they are required to latest eda ncx12 version you may be surprised to find that out that even some of the larger retailers and trading partners are still using the version of edi in cx12 that go far back as version 4030 that's it okay so the view we are talking about the benefit of the edis what are the major benefits we can see that the multiple benefits are there uh, okay and so for the edi x12 subsets are there we need to just understand that edi is very effectively and very uh time consuming okay there is no any human intervention are there and this is very cost effective and so this is the very security okay due to the prevent pretend mm, prevalent of use of the x12 x industries it is considered as the umbrella standard with five industry specific substandard or subset for increased efficiency the five function transition set or subset included like uh, communication and controls okay and finance as well and transportations supply chain and insurance okay so these are the five main mm, transition set or subset included in, in generally industries we generally use okay for example for the ncx12 if you are using that uh, industry uses the subsets ucs it for its eda communication and appeal retails uses vics okay industry specific x12 subset like, like hipaa okay hipaa is health insurance portability and accountability act which is generally used for protecting the protecting the information of the uh hospital like for the for their personal information phi information and pa information as well and protect and ensure to protect the upper lines okay the, so this is the act which is established in the u.s healthcare okay in the u.s government in 1997 okay this is established in the 1997 for the hipaa okay and the uca uniform communication standard this is the another used for the standard format okay and vics a voluntary industry inter, inter, industry uh, commerce standards as well and aiag automa automotive industry action group and cidx chemical industry data exchange and eidx electronic industry data exchange group comptia okay a pidx american petroleum institute okay if we are talking about the common x12 message type transaction set like there's a multiple transaction set are available in the industry we generally use so first is the 204 what is the meaning of 204 204 is the motor carrier load standard okay and 276 claim status inquiry and 277 is used for the claim status response as well and 383 for use for the trading partner profile and 753 mm, request use for the request for routing instructions 754 used for the routing instructions 810 is generally used so most of the uh, industry like invoice okay 820 used for the payment order uh, remittance emit eft and 830 is used for the planning schedule material release 834 used for the benefit endowment and maintenance okay and 846 used for the inventory inquiry or advice and there is not available like 837 which is used for the claim and eligibility as well and 848 the material safety data sheet 850 used for the purchase order this is very important and most of the industry are generally used this is for this 850 like purchasing order for the billing as well and 852 for the product activity data and 55 used for the 
uh, purchase order acknowledgement once the order is for sales and then we then sender will guide the acknowledgement of the purchase order and 56 the sh ship notice manifest asn 858 use for the shipment information bill to bill of landing lading and 859 use for foreign invoice freight sorry freight invoice and 861 use for the receiving advice and 990 used for the load taken response and 997 also used for the function acknowledgement as well okay so we have just uh see all these transactions that are generally used and most popular in the industry there's a multiple trading partners used for this transaction set in their own uh, industry as per their requested okay as per their requirement they generally use there's the extra envelope system like enveloping of the data pairs how many data pairs are available for building the files like for the 834 of any transaction set files there's a minimum like commonly envelope are there for beginning to of ending the each envelope are defined by the data pairs or specific data segments that are assigned for the uh, for this perfect enveloping data pairs providing the organizations between envelope promoting a clear and odd orderly interchange of data okay what is the envelope envelope is the meaning of that and which from starting and end, ending okay first is the st and se st envelope transition set envelope which is starting from st and this is going to end for se okay and functional group envelope is start from the gs and is going to be end at the g okay and interchange envelope is start from the isa and it will be going to the n or iea okay so that the envelope is starting and ending functions are there so this is the flow chart of the uh, all transactions that for starting and ending envelope isa start from interchange control header and it's going to be interchange control trailer going to be and at envelope iea okay and gs start from the functional group header and gs segment is going to be end at the functional group trailer envelope with the g okay and st start from trans um, transaction set header and it's going to be and and the se uh, transaction set trailer envelope okay so and uh, g and gs start from the g and gs start from the function group header and it's going to i know g envelope okay so these are the detail segments for, and detail segments for example like benefit endowment all this communication with you know, transport trailer are there okay this is start from header and going to be end on trailer okay so these are the interchange envelope communication envelope as functional group and functional group envelope as well okay this is the isa header in details if we are talking about the isa header so these are the uh 15 like 14 columns are there okay so isa 1 isa 2 isa 3 4 5 6 7 so like till the 5th 13 14 and well if you can see so these are all the information are available so we are looking for this uh, for, for first is for the authorization information qualifier isa 02 is the security information qualifier okay and three for the uh, interchange id qualifier four for the interchange sender id okay and these are the information like we can use for the sender id as well receiver id as well date time repetition separator okay interchange control number interchange control version number acknowledgement request or user indicator with the terminal element terminator okay so these are the another segment like for segment 34 segment like we can see the gs okay and gs is the header so start from the function id code like gs01 h used for hs and gs02 is used for the sender id and gs03 used for the receiver id and gs04 for the date five for the time six for the group control number gs7 for the responsibility agency code eight for the version release identity uh, fire code so these are the envelopes and use for the EDI transactions so in, i think i hope like uh, this video will ha take helpful for all of you and if you, if you are want to learn something in the edi mm, please be stand continue with my channel please like share, and subscribe this channel if you like my video and i will be providing all the information related to the edi but continue please be kept and mm, along with me okay and we continue stay with me okay so thank you so much i will be connected with you guys later thank you please like subscribe and subscribe my video